It's early in the morning, and Paul and I are in Winslow, Arizona. They've dedicated this whole town to the Eagles, standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. Well, we wanted to go and discover what's here in Winslow. Well, what we found was a whole lot of history, not just the Eagles. First, we're going to eat breakfast, and we haven't been to a Denny's in a while. We're at Denny's. You like Denny's? I do. Did they give you all the silverware you need? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they do. And around the corner in Winslow, Arizona. It's a girl, my lord, in a flat dead room, going down a table. It's not anything about your husband. Could I have the uh, hash brown crispy? Yeah. Super. All right. And then extra napkins and some water with a straw. Okay. <laughs> We're getting this down pat. You're going to go stand on a corner, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Everybody's got to stand. Now, I feel like going to church, too. But I feel small. Do you think we could find a very small church? <laughs> I think we could try. Okay. Oh, is this the Falcon? Everything. Huh? I know. Every you could say that again. You're going to do everything when you get to Tucson. And I'm going to hold you to it. Everything happens in Tucson. But it stays in Tucson. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. No, it never stays in Tucson. That's in Vegas. Everything's going to be broadcast. Okay. All right. I'll be right back to the next one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, Sale. Could we go to a yard sale? Oh my gosh, they have good coffee. And it's clean. Let me see if this will work. <laughs> Denny's has good coffee. We have not been to a Denny's for months because in Flagstaff, they're horrible. They had holes in the seats. I mean, there was a big hole. It was literally a scooped out hole. And how do you sit in that? Right in the middle. And um, there was just, and then the other one was really dirty. So we, um, we stopped going to Denny's. We're now IHOP people. But I think there's a Denny's in Tucson real close that we. We've gone there. I know. Um, we might be Denny's people again. Is that Canyon? What was that? Something Canyon? No? Walnut Canyon. What is that? It's, it's a, a national park. It's a canyon. <laughs> <laughs> is it look like a walnut? Or? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but I can only fit so much of it in. So I may offer it special to those who want to see what's in here. And all through this video, everywhere we went, I do have a lot of footage. Here's the Eagles. They've dedicated so much to them. One of the gift shops has a guitar that's signed by all of the Eagles. There's the flatbed Ford. I was watching this corner and there were just people coming all morning long. Well, there's Paul. Then we're gonna go walk around a little bit and see what's around here. It's not a big town. The Old Town Grill, the architecture is gorgeous. Actually, I believe that Winslow is more attractive to me personally than Williams. And Williams is full of history also. And that's just right um, south of the Grand Canyon. But Winslow is only an hour to the east of Flagstaff. Now here they have the smallest church. We wanted to see this. And yes, it is very, very small. And I would say that is the smallest. The music that I chose for the beginning of this video, I'm hoping sounds a bit like the Eagles. Of course, I can't use their music because it's copywritten. And in many cases, I would have just left natural sounds, the ambient sounds of the town. But there was a really wonderful musician who was playing on the corner and he was playing very popular music like jazz, like Little Walter and you know, really good um, jazz like from Cadillac Records movie. We got Abby to a dog park. It was a pretty nice dog park, not huge, but it was perfect for her. She got out, she got her running and barking, and her her pooping, <laughs> everything, yes. There goes a train, big train place. The history revolves around the railroad in Winslow. into the city we wanted to walk a little bit further to see what's down the street and we found really nice restaurants and there were murals all over really nice ones now here's down an alley and I just had to walk down here and kind of look at it and see the paintings look at that all the way and it's an obscure place it's down an alley but Here's these beautiful paintings on the walls. The population in Winslow is about 10,000. And it looks like most of their money making is from tourism. They've got Stanton on the corner. They've also got Route 66. And they've got La Posada, which I'm going to show you Half of this video is going to feature La Posada, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Look at these murals.
Little puppy. <laughs> There's history everywhere. There's so much history here. The old truck, an old Texaco. I took so much footage. It's just gorgeous here. I couldn't stop filming. There were so many unusual things going on. And then we came across this park where people gather probably in the summertime and it has a nice stage. This is my rendition of a 30 second play called Take It Easy. How am I doing? <laughs> they have picnic tables. I bet in the summertime they have a lot of music here and plays. This is La Posada, and it was the last and most elegant of the great Fred Harvey hotels built by the Santa Fe Railroad. It was designed by Mary Coulter, perhaps the greatest architect of the Southwest, as a fabulous Spanish hacienda. And Coulter is famous for her magnificent building at the Grand Canyon, but La Posada was her favorite. This was built by the Santa Fe Railway in 1927 and the Harvey family decided to build a major hotel at the corner of Northern Arizona. Now they did have a, a house that was, it was called the Harvey House and it served meals and they had what they called the Harvey Girls that worked there but they wanted to make it into a hotel. And Winslow was one of the major stops on the Santa Fe Railway. The original hotel had 70 guest rooms, three dining rooms, fancy lounges, restful arcades, splashing fountains, and museum quality furniture. It was surrounded by acres of beautiful gardens with their own greenhouse, tennis courts, and a train station. It was the finest hotel on Route 66. Everybody stayed here from Howard Hughes to John Wayne, Bob Hope and Dorothy L'Amour, Albert Einstein to the Crown Prince of Japan, just like they do today. From Elon Musk to Tom Ford. Until the 1950s, Winslow was bigger than Flagstaff and Sedona. But then people stopped riding trains, and Route 66 was bypassed and abandoned. But it was closed to the public for 40 years. The gardens were abandoned and mostly paid for parking. But soon they started remodeling one room by one room and other people found out about it and started coming to visit and together everybody brought the La Posada back to life. It is gorgeous here. Look at this. Everything is authentic and it is enormous. As you watch, Your mouth. I try my best to go slowly to make it film quality going from area to area and this is my first time there so this was all new to me I wasn't sure which way to turn but every turn took me to something else took me to new paintings furniture it was phenomenal look at this huge painting there's so many paintings here I'll show you in a minute when I go up the stairs it kind of turns a little bit on um, the feeling of the whole place. But look at all these lounging areas, authentic furniture. It was fun. I'm going to let you enjoy this with me.
When I went upstairs, the whole sensation changed. The paintings up here were just a bit bizarre for my taste, and I don't mind weird things, but there was a kind of a feel about it that was almost creepy spooky. Now, I have a lot of footage of it up here, and I will share it with those um, as something special, but I couldn't get everything in here. It seemed uh, very almost, um, there's an insanity about some of the paintings. Now, as I'm walking through, I couldn't help but feel, and it was so quiet and nobody else was up there, I couldn't help but feel that I was in the movie The Shining with Jack Nicholson. I was really happy. I did. I was brave and I went down one of the halls by myself, but I was really happy to see Paul. I just felt like I was going to end up seeing something that said Red Rum. And if you know what I'm talking about, you'll understand. Red Rum. <laughs> one of the rooms had, they, each room was featured, I believe, by the people who stayed there. And one of them was the Double Mint Twins. Remember them? from way back in the commercials. Well, I couldn't help but think, <laughs> it came to my mind, remember in the movie The Shining, they saw these twins at the end apparitions. I found it to be a bit creepy, but it was worthy. I, it, I would recommend that anybody go and see every part of La Posada. It is a wonder. It is phenomenal and it will invoke a lot of different emotions i guarantee it it really did with me For me, there was something foreboding what kind of hard is so good? on this floor. The paintings were very bizarre. time to leave leave this floor for sure and go down into the lobby areas and the lounge areas there's a different feel down there they have a really nice restaurant and it isn't that expensive considering but it was a nice experience being here there's the entrance to the restaurant It is grand for sure. What a beautiful place. Thank you for watching.
thanks for spending time with me today and with Paul in Winslow, Arizona. Please subscribe, like, and share.